we did keep some pigs and we used to have a kid, pig killed every now and again and I used to watch this pig being killed really <laughs> which I suppose now when you think about it, it it's horrible but to me it was one of those things that just happened and the man that killed the pig he didn't live very far away from us and he, he'd have a a very big scrub top table not a very high one at all probably about 18 inches high or something like that and he'd take the pig out of the pigsty walk the pig along to this this table walk the pig along to this table and he'd get somebody to help him pull the pig onto it and fasten the pig down and then they'd cut the pig's throat wouldn't they and of course when the pig was killed and they were cleaned it all out and everything like that my uncle used to cure it in the front room that we called it but there was two halves to it took all the innards out and everything like that which really and truly we threw nothing away my granny used to clean the innards from the pig which was called chitlins in them days she used to do it three times a day in cold running salt water and her hands used to be blue with the cold because of, of, of washing it and then she boiled all them chitlins up which to me, that was beautiful. <laughs> then when the, when, when the pig was cured, we'd hang it up on the stairs. As we went up the stairs, it, it'd be on the wall. There'd be a big uh, sheet put on the wall. And then when we wanted any bacon, my granny would just go and get, some, get a big knife and cut some strips of bacon off.